Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you uh, scaling strategies for CBO step-by-step -step to seven figures. So basically how to spend as much as possible on profitable CBO campaigns, how to basically structure them, what would be the basically, you know, the best structure for them and how to align them uh, to achieve, you know, seven figures. And so I'll show you some of the examples inside of our campaigns and I'll show you examples on how you can structure it step-by-step -step so you can leverage it for your own business. So right now, CBO, as you know, is kind of like becomes one of the important things. Uh, one of the things that advertisers uh, try to test and get as much uh, as possible out of. Um, and um, for us, like ad set targeting is still a good option that we use a lot. But CBO, like using CBO's proper listing, it's very important. So I'll show you exactly what to do, how to use it, so you know exactly how to implement it to get uh, the best results. So, um, by the way, we are still seeing better results with ad set budgeting uh, in a lot of our projects. So if that works best for you, um, just stick with that, right? Just stick with what works for you. Just if if everyone like in the marketplace says you like, okay, do this or do that, like. If something else works for you, just do what works for you, right? Just don't be like, just kind of like blindly following what's, um, what everyone says, just follow what's worked for you, right? So we are still seeing a lot of like great results with ad set budgeting, but I'll show you some of the campaigns where it's basically spent, you know, like six figures, uh, six figures per month with a CBO and it's highly profitable. So CBO will only work uh, if your ads are good enough. And what I mean by this is, um, ideally you would have your click through rate link, uh, click through rate unique link, one of the metrics that are in, you know we are pay, paying attention to that is in, extremely important is 3% plus, ideally, right? Um, and if not, then you would have to test different angles for your product, different videos, different thumbnails to get to that level. Uh, cost per click link ideally should be below $1. Right, that's the goal. That's where you want to be. Like, if you if you get to that level, then uh, you're in much more scalable position. Now, obviously, you know, if you're selling something with higher average order value, sometimes you can get away with higher, you know, cost per cost uh, cost per link click, um, lower click through rate. So you need to know your numbers in terms of what you can afford uh, to get a sale. But overall, just um, yeah, just make sure to your ads are good enough, like on the smaller budgets. Uh, for them to be scaled with CBOs, right? So CBO is just a multiplier, it's not a miracle maker. And if your ads are not good enough, it's not because like you'll be using some CBO strategy that it's just like miraculously like will, will you know, start performing and you'll be highly profitable. So just pay attention to that. Just keep those like fundamentals in mind always, guys. So now Basically, um, I would recommend to start with like three, five ad sets. So I'll show you like a uh, like few examples now um, of CBO, right? So where we basically structured it. And I mean, it's it's very simple structure. So you can see here, so this is CBO, right? And you can see here, this is like this spent overall uh, $165,000 with return on spend of 189 generated three hundred and twelve thousand dollars in sales just one campaign one cbo campaign so you can see the setup here right it's very simple right um it's basically like like six different six assets right and um some of them have performed better some of them have performed worse um you can see like it's quite like uh frequency is quite high on this right um, all of these are called audiences, but they've been running extensively for a long period of time um, and they spend quite a lot of quite a lot of money. So you can see um, the return I spent overall is good. It's like 189, which is profitable, but you can see kind of like how much it can spend, right? Simple structure, basically six ad sets. And um, as you can see, some of them are turned off, right? So a lot of people arguing whether you should turn off the asset inside of the CBO or not. So, um, I mean, I, I recommend that you, you turn off and I was chatting with um, uh, Facebook reps and you know they, they said it's okay if you turn off the, the asset inside of CBO, that's totally fine. So just keep that in mind, right? This is one example that I wanted to show you guys basically how it's structured. And so you can see like six ad sets, uh, it's quite straightforward. The budget here per, per CBO is $500. Um, sometimes we have higher budgets uh, per CBO, I'll show you in a second. So for example here, 
as you can see here, um, the so you can see here uh, the overall like so this this CBO for instance has a budget of like twelve hundred dollars. Um, you can see there are more like different CBOs that that are being like um, used different campaigns. So this one has budget of twelve hundred dollars and it has like five ad sets in it, right? So this one spent uh, fifty dollars fifty thousand dollars and generated two hundred thousand dollars two hundred and one thousand dollars in sales with return ad spend of three point nine. But again, guys, um, if you pay attention to the uh, click through rate link, this is like 4.83%, right? These are good ads, right? As you can see, these are very good ads because otherwise it will not work. And so just just keep that in mind, unless unless you can, you can afford to have like very like expensive clicks, uh, you can have like, you know, very low click through rate link, um, then you just need to work on that trade first, kind of like, Test it out on smaller budgets, um, and for example, do not go like after CBOs with like five hundred thousand dollars right away. Just go with like one hundred, see if that works. And here is exactly what I guys uh, what I, what I recommend guys for you um, to utilize. So just keep those like um, just kill those losing assets inside of the CBO. Um, you can use like one day, uh, three days, seven day conversion window to basically analyze the performance uh, based on kind of your conversion window, how much it typically takes people to, to complete uh, the purchase. For most businesses, like one, three days is more than enough. Sometimes if, you, if your items are very expensive and you know that it takes people like seven, 14 days to, um, you know, to complete their, their purchase, then it might be more than that. But typically it's just like, you know, one to one three days is enough for you to evaluate the performance and if it's not performing if it's like very low ROAS, just kill that ad set right um or maybe like one ad inside of that ad set is not performing so you just want to like kill those ads that are not performing kind of like you have to optimize it's not like facebook will do everything for you they'll do majority of the work for you but they still have to monitor and kill what's not working and then once performing consistently for three days I would recommend to duplicate it with 2x the budget and make sure that each ad set is 5 million plus, ideally, right? So these audiences that are inside of like, um, so I, I just showed you where the frequency is quite high. So um, you want to have this audience. So if you want to run these CBOs continuously for a long period of time and you want to be profitable with them, then you need to have them, you know, at bigger, like bigger audiences. Right, so five million plus ideally. So you want to exhaust it fast, and you just continuously run it. If it stops performing again, one three days, you can see it kind of like just declines. It's not profitable. So CBO sometimes like one day could be unprofitable. Um, sometimes two days. So there are always like these fluctuations and stuff. But like if it just continuously just you can see the trend is like boom. Then okay, should just kill that ad set. And if you see the whole campaign is kind of like dying out, then just kill that campaign. Probably your creative is not strong enough and you have to work on it to make it better. Um, and you have to improve your ads first because at the end of the day, it just comes down. CBO is just like type of the optimization that, you know, Facebook implemented. It doesn't change your like business metrics. It doesn't change your average order value. So your business fundamentals are still the same. So work out your margins, work out your average order value, work out your funnel, then CBO will be um, very easy for you to implement and very profitable. So this is it guys. Thank you for this video. So hope this gives you like a better understanding how to structure these like CBOs and scale them to, you know, six, figures, seven figures. So I'll show you um, more details about different CBO strategies in other videos. For now, please uh, comment below if you have any questions. Also, please subscribe to my channel so uh, you can see all of the like new updates, all of the new videos that I release. Um, and uh, that will be awesome. Looking forward uh, to helping you guys. If you have any questions, please just post them in the comments.